welcome back everybody. We are up here at Brainerd Lake, about 11,000 feet in elevation. I did a little bit of walking around the lake so far and I kind of came across this old tree and it looked pretty cool and I'm trying to figure out if something I can do with it. It's a, uh, it's a little bit awkward because it's not quite lined up with that which I want to get and a mid-ground element and that in the background. Um, I guess the water could be the mid-ground, but it doesn't really lead your eye anywhere. It'd be much better to shoot it kind of this way with the edge of the lake that kind of leads your eyes to the mountain, but it's hard to get an angle for that. So um, I'm struggling a bit with that one right now. So I may kind of figure out a location to, to shoot this and then walk around the lake. And if I can't find anything else, come back here and do this one. It's not a huge walk around the lake, to be honest with you. There's three lakes up here. I know Brainerd is one of them. I know Long's Lake is another one. Uh, there's a third lake that's smaller. I can't remember what it's called. I think it was Red Rock Lake. This is a really popular place in the summertime. Um, it's gorgeous. Lots of birds, lots of trees, lots of greenery, um, and quiet today. I guess it is, you know, Tuesday or Wednesday. Wednesday? I don't even know what day it is anymore. It's Wednesday. So uh, it's been nice. I kind of have the place to myself for the most part. We're about an hour, hour and a half northwest of Denver. Uh, it's about a four mile hike walk in. Uh, the first, you know, first mile and a half or two is, is uh, trails, which you can take. Um, and then that leads to a road and the road comes all the way up here. At 11,000 feet elevation, it is a bit of a, a, bit of a trek. Um, I don't want to say I was struggling, but I did stop twice to, to take pictures um, so that I could take a break. Um, I, I'm very happy in the fact that I did remember my, uh, my 105 lens today. So I was able to, to see a couple of um, uh, wildflowers and catch those. Uh, I like, uh, I'm hoping to see some more on the way back uh, or even just walk around the lake. You know, it's not really wildflower season yet. I, I think that peaks in Colorado closer to July. Um, but there's some starting to come out, and so uh, I brought the, the macro just to see if I get a couple. Part of the reason I want to come up today, which actually worked out, was uh, there's some, some weather coming in. It's not going to be quite this sunny. Uh, so if you can see in the background, I know this way is where Rocky Mountain National Park is at Estes Park. That's really dark and gray. They're going to get a lot of rain over there today. Um, it's a little bit drier here, um, but the clouds are coming in, so... I was hoping to catch some, uh, some, some drama in the clouds, but they may be a little bit flat, so we'll have to see what happens. Anyway, if you're new here, this is my, uh, my third episode, um, trying to, to teach myself to become better at landscape photography. Landscape photography is not easy. The people I watch on YouTube, the guys and the girls I watch on YouTube, man, they make it look easy. It is not easy. They're right, getting there is half the challenge. So my legs are burning and I still gotta walk back four miles. So we'll see what happens with sundown or with clouds. Um, as I've said, you know, in the other episodes, I, I don't, this is never gonna be a job. This is just more of a passion and for fun. Um, but I wanna get better at it. You know, I did the same thing with food. I, I had a passion for food and food photography. And so um, I got very good at that. And now I'm trying to do the same thing with with landscape photography, um, a much different animal. So uh, if you wouldn't mind, you know, subscribe to the channel, like the video and hit the notification bell, and uh, you'll see more of these as they come out. But for right now, I think I'm gonna take a walk around the lake and see if I can find some other shots, um, some other locales that, that may do really well. Um, I do like this tree a lot. I, I just worry that I can't get, I can't get what I want well, I guess I could if I want to get wet. And that means walking back to the car in wet shoes and wet socks. Or I take the shoes and socks off. I'm not a big fan of that either, actually. So I'll tell you this right now. I've never taken my shoes or socks off to do a food photography shoot. Not once ever. So this will be a first for a photo.
get a load of this. So as I was walking around the lake, I found uh, this little stream, little stream, it kind of broke off into four or five different branches. I followed one up and it brought me up to this bridge on the road. So I crossed that. I came across this huge, huge river and falls. So I stopped, I got some photos. Long exposure, we'll see how it comes out. We'll actually see if you can even hear me right now. It is so loud. But uh, that is so cool. That's why I love Colorado. Uh, so I'm back here at the tree stump. I've walked around the lake. I came across some cool stuff as far as the outside of the lake goes. There's some running water back there. Um, some heavy running water. I got some photos of that, um, which I thought came out really good. I uh, ran into a deer. Hung out with him for a little bit and got a couple of photos and some, some footage of that. You know, the, the clouds have kind of cleared out a little bit. It's warmed up. And if you can see behind me, there's no wind. It's starting to kind of glass up on the lake, which should be pretty cool. Um, if I want the shot that I can see, I'm getting in the water. No two ways about it. We got about an hour, maybe an hour till sundown. So. Let's hope the wind stays away and uh, we'll get our shot, all right? Time to say goodbye to Brainerd Lake. I didn't get the big explosion of color I was hoping to, but uh, we'll see how it goes. It was, uh, I think I got some good shots. I'm just not sure what's gonna come out of there. So hopefully it was a good day. I spent a lot of time here. My feet are freezing. It's a, uh, getting dark soon so I need to find the trail and then walk the next four hours or four miles back to my car which will take a couple hours well hour 15 minutes maybe so ugh. that's the plan for now thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.